And no matter what their age, each seemed to have an all too familiar story about how they were diagnosed, arrived in the hospital, and then began learning an overwhelming new way of living. I'm proud to share with you the samples of photos I've taken for the Mission Photo Project over the past two years. While each participant is unique in their own way, they are all resilient in how they care for themselves and how they live their lives day in and day out with this disease. Telling these stories is always a challenge, but they bring me hope and empower me to be a stronger advocate for the community. Luna Marie Les Randall, just seven years old, was diagnosed in January of this year. Rufus, the bear with type 1 diabetes, has helped her and her family over the past several months overcome some pretty rough moments. Luna is a bright star, and she truly lit up my heart when I met her. As her mother so eloquently shared with us, Luna's positive spirit helps the entire family manage this disease. And when Luna was asked about living with diabetes, her hopeful response was that one day she would wake up and be free of T1D. And that would make her the happiest she's ever been. Luna, tonight's event will get us one step closer to your dream. Luna and her mom are with us tonight. Thank you for sharing your story and inspiring all of us. Please give them a round of applause. Next, I'd like to introduce you to Indigo and Isis Shepherd, sisters diagnosed just years apart from one another. Their father was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes almost 30 years ago. He recalls a time when blood draws were extremely painful and glucose monitors were large and cumbersome. There were no pumps and carb counting had not yet become part of the equation for diabetes care. Diabetes has affected generations in the Shepherd family. Today, they are all benefiting from advancements in technology. I'd now like to recognize Indigo and Isis Shepherd. Thank you for being with us this evening and sharing your story. These are just three of the 40 outstanding participants I had the great honor to meet through this project over the past two years. Each one has a different goal in life, but all of them believe in a future without type 1 diabetes. And that's why we're here tonight, to show them that we will stand by them during their weakest moments, encourage <coughs> them in their brightest days, and share in their dreams. We've come so far with advancements like the artificial pancreas, and we must keep this momentum going. I'd now like to ask all of the photo project participants who are with us this evening to please stand and be recognized. <laughs> 